I'm Robbie Elliott with another edition of State Champs at the State Finals, where we're going to be recapping the Boys Bowling State Finals. Now, before we get into the highlights, I just want to thank our presenting sponsor, Lawrence Technological University. Be curious, make magic. Visit ltu.edu. Now, let's hit the lanes to check out all the action. In Division 4, Traverse City Christian was in search of their first state championship. Jonesville on the other side went four games in the quarters to beat Riverview Gabriel Richard and a three game sweep over Saginaw Navelle. TC Christian would get ahead with a first game win 180 to 169. Jonesville answered back in the second though. They tied it up with a 15 pin win 196 to 181. TC Christian bounced back to take the lead again in the third game 194 to 161. And it would be a one pin difference in the fourth game as TC Christian gets the win 200 to 199 and brings home gold for the first time in school history. Over in Division 3, we had a pair of teams looking for their first titles. Frankenmuth, after winning in three against Portland and Gladwin, they were taking on Milan, whose wins over Blissfield and Bullock Creek went four games apiece. In the first game, it was all on Frankenmuth. They started hot, getting the win 221 to 126. They kept the momentum going in the second as they took it 196 to 154, and they wrapped things up in three games, winning their first bowling state championship, 199 to 156. Going into the night was to be louder than the other team. Gladwin, when we went against them in the, in the final four, they were a really loud team and the main goal was to be louder than them. When we, as a team, we're not as loud as most teams, but for us to be able to get pumped up, whenever we have the high energy, we're able to make much, much more better shot making. The oil pattern this year was different, and so we had to make a couple adjustments. Last year, I did not put any surface on my ball, and I know a couple of my teammates but also didn't put surface on their balls, but we just made a couple ball changes, a couple surface changes, and you know, our, our mindset was to win, qualify and win, so and we did just that. Head-to-head -head matchups this year, especially in the last month, um, we've been fantastic in Baker games. And that was really the goal, was to get into the top eight. And then uh, I, I knew we had the poise and the horses basically to get the job done. And we did, we went 3-0, 3-0, 3-0 in the finals. This journey actually started uh, at last year's regionals. We missed the state, going to the states by a few pins. And the guys uh, literally started practicing the following week. They really took it personally. And they, they bared down and they practiced and put so much work in all year to get to this season and get to this point. And it all paid off. It was really, really hard work. And bottom line, um, we're a bunch of uh, urethane throwing guys. Uh, I'm an old school 80s guy, and uh, straight up making spares um, is what got it done. Was, it's what got it done for us. In Division two, Flint Kearsley rolled the minimum games, getting 3-0 sweeps on their way to the finals, where they matched up with Grand Rapids Northview. Northview with wins over Bay City Western and Carlton Airport to make the championship. In the first game, Northview would give Kearsley their first loss of the day, taking game one, 185 to 173. Northview keeping the momentum going as they took the second game, 188 to 169. Kearsley in the third game would get a much needed win, 189 to 171. And things were starting to click now as Kearsley forced a fifth game after winning 204 to 174. And Kearsley, after being down two games, would win three straight to go back to back as state champions, winning the fifth 173 to 150. It's very important. It's very special to end my last two years in high school as a state championship. To go back to back, it's, it's very special. Should be a huge confidence booster for next year. Um, only graduating two people, so a lot of good guys coming back. 
I just win is everything, man. I uh, I grew up watching the program because Bart's my uh, Bart's my stepdad, and so I've been around it for my whole life pretty much. And winning winning last year was big, and then winning this year, absolutely crazy. Coming off of last year's win, our goal was to win back to back. Obviously, we struggled throughout the year actually finishing. We made it to finals. We didn't win very many tournaments like we did last year. We struggled to finish. So to be able to come out, go down two to nothing in the finals and come back and win three to two and be able to finish, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's finish things up in division one. The Granville Bulldogs beat Livonia Churchill in the semis in five frame roll off after they tied the fifth game. They took on Davison, coming off a 3-0 sweep of Holt in the semis. Bulldogs were rolling early, getting a two-pin victory 193 to 191 in the first game. And it opening it up in the second, beating the Cardinals 195 to 156. And completing the sweep with a 162 to 144 win to give Granville their first bowling championship in school history. So this is my first year as Granville's head coach, which is an amazing accomplishment to come out the first year and make a program turn into a state championship. Uh, if we if we get kids that commit and dedication, it, it's everything. Um, to have a faculty in our school that trust me and believes in the fact of what we're doing, and we can put things together. <laughs> Sorry, my team is cheering. Um, you know, to us, it, it's just going to get us to so much farther. We're going to come back again next year and hopefully do a repeat. Congratulations to all of our state champions. I'm Robbie Elliott, and that's another edition of State Champs at the State Finals. State Champs at the State Finals is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Be curious, make magic. Visit ltu.edu. State Champs at the State Finals is also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud sponsor of the MHSAA. The Detroit Athletic Club Foundation Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards. To see previous winners, go to DACAthleteoftheyear.com.